We spent a long weekend in Paris and chose to stay at Les Dauquins, a charming boutique hotel located within walking distance of both the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe. The intimate lobby features several cozy sitting areas, including this one by the antique fireplace. Across the hall is the breakfast room, which transforms into an elegant champagne bar in the evenings. One of the most unique things about this hotel is the Louis Vuitton elevator. This lift is made from a genuine vintage Louis Vuitton steamer trunk. Not gonna lie, it's a tight space, but a very fun experience getting up to our room. We booked a deluxe room, but we got upgraded to an executive, which is a bit more spacious and included a large living space with two walkout balconies and a desk. The bathroom was also fairly large, with excellent water pressure in the shower. We were blown away at how charming this hotel was, and highly recommend staying at Les Docans if you find yourself visiting this part of Paris. A short 7 minute walk from the hotel is the Place du Trocadero. This is one of the absolute best views of the Eiffel Tower, which started sparkling just a few minutes after we arrived. We wandered further down to the Seine River to get a closer look and do some people watching. We kept seeing dinner cruises go by and did consider taking one, but it was going to be a one-way trip so we decided against it. On our way back to the Place du Trocadero, we got to see a football supporters party boat floating down the river. For dinner, we decided to check out Restaurant Le Coq. We started out with crusty bread, then a coconut lemongrass and shrimp soup. For mains, we went with the vegan yellow curry tofu and a filet mignon with Bernays sauce and silky mashed potatoes. Dessert was Café Liégeois, the perfect end to our first night in Paris. The next morning, we didn't really have an agenda, so we just wandered around exploring the neighborhood. We made our way over to the Arc de Triomphe and then headed down the Champs Elysees in search of breakfast. We decided to check out Fouquet's and ordered a very fancy express breakfast of mini croissants, orange juice, and coffee. One block down the street was the flagship Lauderay Bakery, so we decided to have a second breakfast and waited in line for a table. The inside is beautifully decorated, and there is a separate counter for takeaway orders of their famous macarons. We ordered a sampler of six different macaron flavors, plus an espresso and a hot chocolate. Fully stuffed at this point, we headed south to the Champ de Mars for an afternoon stroll around the park and to check out the Eiffel Tower in the daytime. That evening, we decided to continue our tour of the neighborhood. We walked over to Café Belois, which we had passed by that morning, and popped in for drinks and a few appetizers to get started. We ordered onion soup, escargot, and a goat cheese salad to share. Next, we wandered over to the other side of the neighborhood and found this adorable little wine bar on the most charming street of all time. We ordered a glass of wine, a glass of sparkling rosé, and snacked on olives and breadsticks. Next up on the random food tour was Le Poincar, where we ordered a more substantial mixed platter of charcuterie and cheeses to share, followed by a creme brulee and espresso for dessert. 
Our final stop was Giraffe Restaurant, where I discovered I really enjoy caviar. We accompanied it with blinis, creme fraiche, and smoked salmon, and finished with Veuve Clicquot Rosé. In case you couldn't tell, we thoroughly enjoyed focusing our weekend on exploring the Trocadero neighborhood. Let us know in the comments which neighborhood we should visit on our next trip to Paris, and as always, thanks for watching.